like to talk about the five reasons why Oracle Database 19C provides the highest level of database availability available on the market today. The first reason is the Oracle Database itself. The Oracle Database has a variety of features and functionality that ensures best-in-class database availability compared to any other relational database management system. For example, Flashback is a technology that allows you to rebind the database or a table in the database if someone issued a wrong update to data in your database. Another feature that should be mentioned in this context is the automatic prevention and recovery from block corruption. Those can be combined with Oracle Data, Gu data Guard and Oracle Active Data Guard to make it more efficient, but even the Oracle Single Instance Database provides this high availability feature out of the box. The second reason why the Oracle Database 19C provides the highest level of availability is Oracle Rack and Oracle Rack OneNote. Both solutions protect your database from server or server hardware failures. In case of Oracle Rack OneNote, it will fail over your Single Instance Database upon failure in case of Oracle Rack, multiple nodes in the cluster or multiple servers in the cluster will concurrently work against the Oracle database. And if a node or a server in the cluster fails, the workload running on that node will be automatically rerouted to one of the remaining nodes in the cluster. Now, there is a certain delay when you reroute this work in your database. And that delay, also known as brownout, has been further reduced in Oracle Database 18C, continuing the Oracle Database 19C. So when you upgrade to Oracle Database 19C using Oracle Real Application Clusters, you, sh you should see, or you should be able to see, a six times improvement in the brownout, meaning the time it needs to recover from a failure in the cluster. Therefore, if you upgrade to Oracle Database 19C, you will automatically get a higher level of availability compared to any previous version. Of course, Oracle Rack only protects the database against server or server hardware failures. If you need to protect your database against storage failures or more disastrous events such as disasters, natural disasters as fire, flood, or earthquakes, Oracle Data, Ga Data Guard or Oracle Active Data Guard should be added to the mix. Both solutions provide a second to none disaster recovery for the Oracle database, whereas Oracle Active Data Guard allows you to use the standby side, so the failover side, in a more interactive fashion. With previous versions of the Oracle database, you could have used the Oracle standby side, the Oracle Active Data Guard standby side, to run read operations against the standby, meaning to say you can use it for reports or occasional reads. With Oracle Database 19C, you can even run writes against the standby database for occasional updates. So if your application not only wants to read, but on occasion wants to update data in the database, you can do so against the standby database with Oracle Active Data Guard 19C. The fourth reason why Oracle Database provides the highest level of database availability available on the market today is Oracle Sharding. Oracle Sharding combines a lot of the technologies I've already talked about because it uses the Oracle Single Instance Database as part of the sharding concept. Basically, what you do is you take multiple independent databases and partition or shard your data across them which means each individual database instance then will, uh, will then be a shard in the Oracle sharding or Oracle sharded database. You can add Oracle Active Data Guard in order to protect the shard in, from failures. So if you do so, you have a shard plus a replica, and the replica is kept, uh, kept in sync using Oracle Data Guard or Oracle, Oracle Active Data Guard. In Oracle Database 19C, Oracle sharding is fully pluggable database compatible. That means you can have one PDB in your container beta database or multiple pluggable database in your container database being a shard in your sharded database. Last but not least, application continuity. Application continuity has been introduced with Oracle Database 12C and has ever since protected your application from encountering an error even if the database underneath fails. In other words, all these technologies that I've talked about will not prevent an instance from failing. If an instance fails, the ML operations or in-flight transactions will fail and automatically be rolled back by the Oracle database system. In this case, your application may encounter an error because the transaction failed. Application continuity will prevent the application from getting this error by automatically replaying this failed transaction in another instance or another database dependent on whether you use RAC or an Oracle Active Data Guard or Data Guard instance. These are the five reasons why Oracle Database 19C provides the highest database availability on the, available on the market today.